Greetings and welcome to St. Margaret Parish. Lent begins this week with Ash Wednesday on February 17th. Mass times are listed on our website and in the parish bulletin. Join Friar Chris Dudek next Saturday, February the 20th from 9.15 a.m. to 12 noon as he discusses Franciscan spirituality. Limited seating is available at St. Mary Magdalene Mission, and this event will also be virtual. Please contact the parish office for more information and to register. Lenten almsgiving begins with donations for the Harford Community Action Agency this weekend of February 20th to 21st. They are requesting toiletry donations for adults and children. See the bulletin for more details. The need for food assistance in our community is great. We are now giving our casseroles to three local churches on a weekly basis. Please continue to help us with your casserole donations. We will continue testing and learning our live streaming system with our daily and weekend masses. You may see these on our YouTube channel. And as always, please remember the poor. They are always with us. Thank you for your kind attention, and please stand. Good day, all. Welcome to our weekend mass. This be our prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers in the Paris of the celebrate this Eucharist is called to mind our sins and ask Lord for a pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you raise a new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, give us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feast your body and blood, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sin, and bring us everlasting life. Christ, only begotten Son, 
Let us bow our heads and pray. O oh God, who teach us that you, ab- you, that you abide in the hearts that are just and true, grant that we, all, we may so fashion you by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns you to the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, if someone has on his skin a scab or pustule or blotch, which appears to be the sore of leprosy, he shall be brought to Aaron the priest or to one of the priests among his descendants. If the man is leprous and unclean, the priest shall declare him unclean by reason of the sore on his head. The one who bears the sore of leprosy shall keep his garments rent and his head bare and shall muffle his beard. He shall cry out, unclean, unclean. As long as the sore is on him, he shall declare himself unclean since he is in fact unclean. He shall dwell apart, making his abode outside the camp. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid giving offense, whether to the Jews or Greeks or the Church of God. 
just as I tried to please everyone in every way, not seeking my own benefit, but that of the many, that they may be saved. Be imitators of me, as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. God. according to Mark. A leper came to Jesus and kneeling down begged him and said, if you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched him and said to him, I do will it be made clean. Leprosy left him immediately and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. He said to him, see that, you go, see that you tell no one anything, but go and show yourself to the priest and offer yourself a cleansing what most prescribe, and that will be proof for them. The man went away and began publicizing the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in desert, deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. I really want to talk about, about the, the scabs and leprosies and uh, uh, me made clean and separate yourselves. Uh, thank God for the gospel gives them really hope. But the one in the Old Testament from Leviticus, you know, the one who bears the sword of leprosy shall cry out, unclean, unclean. Since I don't have to talk about this today, it's, a, it's good that I don't have to. Um, Today we, and this month, we're talking about the uh, annual appeal for uh, Catholic, cha uh, Catholic ministries. Many of you have received in the mail about it. Uh, it's about how we as a as community can help out. The theme this year is joyful in hope. When I was growing up, uh, my mom and dad really made me focus not just on the parish church, but she made me focus on what's happening outside other things happening. You know, the Catholic charities, St. Vincent de Paul, uh, vocations. Mom and Dad always thought that, you know, we should be aware that we need to help them also. They didn't have the appeal back then, but we're always called, anytime a second collection came around, we made sure you use some of your um, allowance to put in there. And it, it was a very striking thing that my mom and dad wanted to make be aware of that we have to go beyond ourselves to help others. It's good to help local, good. But the ministry of Jesus is stretched out even more. And we need to make sure that we, we're doing our part. Uh, the annual campaign for Catholic uh, ministries spreads many things. Uh, the St. Uh, Vincent de Paul, the retreat house, 
uh, Chloe, working with the handicap, mentally handicap, dealing with all kinds of things. Also deal with Haiti, the ministries in Haiti. All these things are happening to reach out, doing the life of Jesus, trying to work out his, trying to live it out his life. Now we're not all called to, you know, do those works, but we're all called to support them in prayer and in, in a, and through your generosity, uh, through your treasures. The annual uh, the annual uh, appeal also helps here in, in our parish. Twenty five percent stays here, and what happens is that it goes tuition assistance, goes with the our, our outreach, goes for the youth. And also helps one of our parishes that we, our sister, sister parish, St. Anthony's, the most precious blood in the city. It's doing our job of loving God and love our neighbor. It's what we can do. Again, we're not, a lot of us can't go in the city and do the work. A lot of ourselves can't do, we help vocations. But we can do through prayer and support financially. It makes a big difference. This is one of the big things that Archdiocese has about supporting the ministries, doing the work of the Lord. So as you know, you receive in your mail uh, the envelope, Joy of One Hope. I would ask if everyone could participate. Whatever amount you can help will make a difference. Whatever you do makes a difference. There's, you know, we, we increase the seminarians, it helps in their education. Evangelization, faith formation, the poorer parish in the city, it helps in the capital funds. Some people need roofs and things like that, and they don't have the, the ability to pay for them. We can do our share. I'm not saying write the whole check for them, but you can do a share. My part about this is participation. The more people involved, the more things we're doing, we can make a difference. And that's what it's about, making a difference, reaching out and touching people through our prayer and our support. You know, we can make these ministries happen by what we do, it, by what we give. And I'm just surprised sometimes, you know, people say, I don't work, give to the city. Well, they're God's people too. And we're called to love God and love our neighbor. And that's our neighbor. So anything we do will make a difference. However small, however big. I was taught whatever gift you can give when I was growing up. And I didn't have much of allowance. I think I had a dollar a week. He says, you can make it, if you put a quarter in there, you make a difference. So you receive it at home. So I'm asking you to fill it out and send it in and make a difference. Joyful in hope. And that's what Jesus wanted for all of us. That we would live a life that's able to live the message of Jesus and make a difference. Uh, so this year we're not asking you to fill all these things out. You can do that at home, especially you guys who are watching on video. Just make sure you put St. Margaret's down, okay? You know, put St. Margaret's down so we can get credit for it. And be aware, joyful and hope. You truly make a difference, however small. I'm asking for participation. By sending this Emma with a matter small, you can do it. You're, in, you're doing the work of the Lord and supporting these ministries and giving witness of what we're about. So as we prepare for a Lent this coming Wednesday. Remember, it's about sacrifice. Look what Jesus did for us, what we do for others. Let us please then, as we renew our baptismal promises, the following response I ask, respond, I do. Do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? 
Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, was born the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. I do. God, our powerful Father, Lord Jesus Christ, has given us new birth by word and Holy Spirit and forgiven all our sins. May keep his faith to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Good and gracious God, trusting your love and care for us, we bring our needs to you as we make a response. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, through her mission and outreach, May she be an instrument of God's mercy, especially to those in most need of God's healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of the human family, that God will awaken among us a spirit of solidarity and fraternity. May healing the human family of disease, poverty, and injustice prevail over differences of nationality, race, and religious beliefs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. For all married couples, that God will continue to deepen their love and help their relationship give witness to God's loving presence in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer for members of our parish. May we be agents of Christ's love and healing. Give us the courage and compassion to enter into and ease the sufferings of those who are isolated or forgotten. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. For the sick, suffering, lonely, and outcasts in our community, May Jesus heal and restore them. May our prayers and care for them increase a sense of belonging. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. For our beloved dead, including Elizabeth Daniel, may she experience God's peace and encounter Jesus as Savior, healer, Redeemer and friend, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. For the parishioners of St. Margaret Parish, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. And for the needs we hold in the silence of our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. Loving God, you provide for all our needs and are attend to our prayers. May we always proclaim your goodness and treat one another with kindness and compassion. And we ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable. God, the Father Almighty, may this Lord Jesus sacrifice your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good of the old church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us. May we come for those who do your will, the source of eternal reward, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. 
lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering, canceled out our sins. By his rise of the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by his sent to you, Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of the angels and saints, we sing a hymn of your praise, as with an end, we acclaim. founts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon the Kadufa, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed, and into willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave the disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which was given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave the disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new eternal covenant, which he poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. For as we celebrate the more of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may gather to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. The gathered Francis, our Pope, we and our Bishop, and all here present. Remember also our brothers and sisters that have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them to light your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, blessed Joseph our spouse, with the blessed apostle of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit be co-heirs of eternal life and praise and glorify through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. 
grace you grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy you always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we eat the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostle, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins from the faith of your church, and grace grant our peace and unity according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us share Christ's peace with one another. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Coronavirus Prayer. Loving God, we pray for all those who are suffering because of the coronavirus. May they know your healing power. When we are afraid for ourselves and our loved ones, give us your strength and courage. When we feel alone and isolated, reassure us with a sense of your presence. Give wisdom to those in authority and may our community work together for the good of all. 
We give thanks for those who care for others and ask you to bless them in all they do. We ask this in the name of Jesus, healer and physician. Amen. 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 Just a reminder that uh, this coming Wednesday is uh, Ash Wednesday. We have services and, and masses, and you, you had some, those are uh, sent in the bulletin, so you'll see those. It's also a day of uh, fast and abstinence. The re regulations are in the, the bulletin, so please read that. Uh, also today, uh, this weekend, is uh, Valentine's Day. We have a special blessing upon all those uh, couples and their lives that the Lord has blessed and continue to bless them. Um, again, the, ca the casseroles, be aware of that in our lives. We need to uh, help out and be in caring and using the, our uh, resources to help uh, other people. Uh, it makes a big difference, those kind of things. And this Tuesday coming up uh, at 6.15, we'll be burn burning palm outside the school and also have a little free uh, uh, sausage biscuit to give to you as you leave the, uh, last Shrove Tuesday. It has this something outside. So if you're interested, 6.15 on Tuesday, come up. It's all outside, not in church. You can be aware of that. And lastly, give you the date today. You know, I talked last week, I had to wear a monitor. Uh, well, the day I'm wearing a monitor in a fanny pack here, it's around five pounds. And through all the mass, it's pulling my pants down. And so it's kind of hard. I'm, I'm trying to get it going and pull my pants down. So uh, next week, I'll probably make it a little bit easier on myself. But it, I'm a little uncomfortable right now because it's pulling my pants down. So um, I have this for the uh, end of the month. So please uh, keep me in your prayers. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. May the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.